Hi there, it's Annie Lou. How are you? I have a little bit of a cold. I thought I had COVID again, but I took a test. I didn't. Felt like I did, but I didn't. Wednesday. So Friday to Wednesday, in the house, feeling bad. Today, I went to an appointment, and then I came over to Dollar Tree. So I think last week I skipped Dollar Tree. I'm not sure, but maybe I did. But of course, I happened to find a few things. So let's do my show and tell. This is a good deal. It's the Reynolds Wrap foil sheets. I have to do some repotting of my um, a couple of house plants, and I remember using something like this last year. You put it in water and it expands, and it's so much less messy than using the soil. Um, I did buy the potting soil from Dollar Tree last year, and I just used some of it. I found that it had a lot of stones in it, a lot of rocks. Maybe that's good for the drainage, but I don't know. I don't want rocks in my soil. One of each on the necessities, Scotty's, two canned goods. One is the Green Giant Cream Corn from my corn pudding recipe. You should try it. I'll put a link in my description. And my absolute most favorite soup, um, Campbell's Chicken Noodle Soup. It has to be Campbell's Chicken Noodle. No other canned soup will do. And I bought a pallet. So when I do my watercolors, I can make little puddles of the color. And then what happens is, if you're using watercolors and that dries, it reactivates just with a drop of water. I got two packages of Panasonic batteries. I always buy the name brand batteries. I, I find the brand that Dollar Tree carries. No, no. This was a good find. Um, it's a glue gun pad. So you put this down and you put your hot glue gun. That's hard. And you put, so you put your hot glue gun down on the mat. A pair of scissors for the kitchen. Um, it's amazing when you have scissors and they don't cut. And I understand that because when you cut paper with scissors, they're dead. I mean, these are $1.25, but they're good for the kitchen. I got a brush to wash my glasses. My um, dishwasher died. So I'm washing stuff by hand and I have a phobia about putting my hands inside glasses because I did that once many, many, many years ago and I cut my, um, which one was it? I don't know, but I cut myself like really bad because the glass broke when my hand was in it. You know, it's funny how you remember things that happened like a million years ago because when I cut my finger on a glass, it was a million years ago. And it was at Lou Ritchie's apartment. I was looking out the window. I love it when the um, kitchen sink has your um, window there so you can look out into the world. I had a house once that didn't have the kitchen window. It was awful. And um, so I remember washing the glass and then I heard this cracking and I looked down and blood was just pouring like, you know. Don't wash dishes at your boyfriend's house. And I got some moss. Um, I will be using this in a craft project that I have coming up. Oh, another kitchen product, olives, green olives, and they're not stuffed. I could just open these up right now and enjoy half a jar. I found this gel polish remover tool and it was just hanging out by itself and I picked it up and I looked at it and it's, um, it's steel, so it'll be good for other things too. Maybelline. Now, I had gotten a Maybelline mini, mini lipstick sample in a Walmart box. And 
it was Maybelline lip stain. And I think that this is pretty much the same thing. <gasps> Let me get my scissors and open this. I need scissors just to open up this package. Pretty color. So this says Jolt. So that lip stain, what I do is I, I put it on dry lips and then, and then I put a gloss over a sort of chapstick and um, it really does the trick. Oh yeah, it has a sponge applicator. Oh, I see it's coming. Oh, I already have lipstick on. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love red lipstick. Oh yeah. It's like settling into my pores. Good stuff. Looks like I've been playing in paint. Another cosmetic item that I got is Rimmel. Rimmel is a well-known brand. Scissors. And what this is, is a gel bronzer. And I have a bronzer at home and I'm just about out of it. When I saw this, same color, and it's a name brand, of course I'm gonna pick it up. It is sealed, very good. I have some on my finger. And, oh yeah, right here. That's gonna be good. Very, very good. Now, I did get something that um, I have been wanting to try. And I saw a lady looking at them and she picked a couple up and I said, are those good? And she said, oh yeah. So, what is it, you ask? It is... Dun, da, da, da. beef jerky. I have never had beef jerky. And it's terra, terracari? No, that's not how you say that. It's flavored. Terracotti. After this, I'm going over to uh, Jersey Mike's. All right, it smells good. Mm. It's salty. That was really good. <laughs> it's tender. They're sliced. Very, very tender. And um, 50 calories for the whole package. And no fat. Sodium. <gasps> 360 milligrams, so that is 16% of your intake for salt for the day. Four grams of sugar and four grams of added sugar. You know what? I like them. And if you had them in your mouth when you're driving or something, that would just satisfy you for a long time. It's, you know, I was hoping it tastes like bacon and it kind of does taste like bacon. This was a pleasant surprise. Mm -hmm. So there you go. So that's it. Well, thank you for joining me. I find it's best just to do my um, show and tells in the car as soon as I get out of the store. Yes, yes I do. Well, if you have time, please like my video and subscribe if you haven't and like it. And um, I think I'm all set. Take care. Bye-bye.